Hey Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for mid-September 2021. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, which means it's not going to resonate for all Pisces. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And all that information is in the description box. Also, keep in mind that the rules can be reversed because this is general and for some of you, it could be that you're cross-watching. It doesn't matter. They could be reversed either way. So, for the overall energy, we actually got two cards here. We have man holding a coin and we have contract. All right, okay. So, there is a situation here where somebody is... I feel one in commitment or when it comes to commitment, some commitment is kind of like the contract is being reevaluated or whatever arrangement has been made. There is a reevaluation of that arrangement when it comes to a particular commitment. Okay, so let's let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of September. Contract is like the Justice card, so for many of you, this can also be somebody wanting wanting commitment, wanting to make things right within a commitment, or wanting a rearrangement, as I said, for a contract concerning a commitment. So we will find out. So for the situation, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by the Five of Pentacles. Recent past, we have the King of Pentacles showing up again. Um, well, again, because that man holding the coin is like the King of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Seven of Swords. For you, we have the High Priestess. For them, we have the star. More about you is the tower. For them, the ace of swords and the potential outcome here, we have judgment. All right. So some pretty big things happening here, Pisces. Some pretty big things. Um, there's either some action or some communication that you or someone else is trying to take or make. But I feel like what the issue is here is that somebody is feeling, um, having either a fear of rejection or just feeling very pessimistic about that communication or about some a certain action. Almost feeling like it's going to lead to them being alone or um, that there will be some kind of a loss associated with some action that's to be taken. So this could definitely be referring to that contract. Um, again, here with the King of Pentacles being in the recent past, I feel like there has been a commitment. Um, so this could be a, a commitment that you're in with somebody else. It could be another commitment. Maybe you're dealing with two different people, maybe someone else's. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, you're at the moment i feel like you are trying to follow your intuition you're trying to tap into what your higher self is trying to tell you or trying to tap into some kind of guidance um but it's leading you to have a tower it's leading you to feel feeling like something is coming to an end possibly something needs to be will will need to be rebuilt or that it's just going to be something very very difficult like things as you knew them will not be the same after this um for them i think i said star before it's actually the moon so sorry about that um so yeah this is actually your energy here right pisces energy um as well as the Ace of Swords also coming in for them. So you, first of all, you're heavily on their minds, okay, number one. Um, I do see this person also being in, in a state of taking action or wanting to take action. We'll see more when we clarify. I feel like they're also kind of 
facing certain fears or just not really knowing what is going on with you, I feel like you might be kind of, or that this person is kind of um, not really sure what's going on with you because you are kind of keeping to yourself here with that high priestess while you're undergoing something really um, difficult, something really heavy. And with the Seven of Swords being in the near future, I feel like this kind of energy is kind of continuing in the sense of things not really being out in the open just yet. Um, but then having justice, uh, sorry, what is going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with me today. Um, calling out different cards than what I'm seeing. Um, judgment being in the potential outcome here. This is that opportunity for a resurrection, for a rebirth, um, for starting new. Also major revelation, a major transformation having taken place. So I see this, um, this judgment is as coming in after this tower that you're going through. So let's clarify, let's see what's going on here. Eight of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. I know what it is, I've probably done too many readings for one day. <laughs> so just calling out, you know, random, random cards. Um, all right, so we have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's there's a major shift that is happening here in this connection. Um, and it's not feeling very pleasant. Again, it's like there's this action, somebody's trying to take action, and it's a very difficult action to take. Um, because I feel like whatever action this is, it's leading to some kind of a loss. It's leading to some kind of an ending, um, whether this be you or whether this be them. And whatever this ending is, it feels painful. It's um, creating a lot of stress. But I feel like this end, this ending, whatever it is, this shift, it's happening. It's happening regardless. It doesn't matter how this person is feeling or how it is that you are feeling. This change, which is involving some kind of an ending, I do feel like it's an ending to a contract because it's changing, right? Even if it's not like a complete ending, it's an ending of how it was and shifting to something else. It's happening. Um, let's see the High Priestess, which is in your energy. Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so this could be you. Um, again, roles can be reversed. I'm seeing this as being Pisces here, all right, who is um, going through the situation here. Your intuition is telling you that, yeah, you know, um, action needs to be taken for some kind of an ending, at least for now, all right? It's, it's like a rearrangement of something here, of a contract. This contract does not have to be physical. It can be like an energetic contract. It can be like, you know, just something that is um, like an unspoken contract, all right? Your intuition is telling you that, and I feel like you are kind of taking the steps, but you're kind of taking your time um, in doing whatever it is that you are being called to do. And again, it's because there's that fear of either being alone or of rejection or of abandonment or of just feeling left out in the cold. Um, for some of you, this could even be um, a fear of financial difficulties associated with this. And in some way or another, it does relate to this um, connection because it's a love reading, all right? It's not a, it's not a financial reading, but for some of you, that could also be um, intertwined in some way. Let me see this tower. Well, here's the star. All right, so the star, Aquarius energy, the Empress, and the Magician. Okay, so we have three major Arcana cards clarifying a major Arcana card, which happens to be the Tower. This is like, I feel it's going to be like a huge milestone. It's going to be one of those like really, really big changes in your life where it's like, 
where you're thinking you split your life into like two um, chapters where it's like life before this tower and then the life after the tower. Like it's that big of a shift that is happening here for you. Whatever this tower is that is happening for you right now, trust it. Trust it because that is leading you towards healing. That is leading you towards wish fulfillment. That is leading you to completely standing in your own power. That is leading you to manifest everything that it is that you wanted. Like this is just so huge, but it's like this huge shift needs to happen in order for that to come in. Pisces, this is, this is no joke. This is really big here. And your intuition is pushing you in that direction. I feel like you're just kind of, you're doing it. I feel like you're just kind of beating around the bush, taking your time a little bit. And that's because it's so difficult. So, and it's so huge that, I mean, completely understandable, completely understandable. Just don't lose sight of, of what it is that you are working towards here. Allow that tower to fall. Things will be rebuilt in a completely new way, which is going to be so much better than what it was before. All right, and that's even apparent in the potential outcome here with judgment. So let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the moon. The Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, this person doesn't really know what's going on here. Um, again, I feel like they feel like they're kind of left out in the dark, not being able to see all, any of this that's going on with you. So there is a little bit of fear here, and I feel like for that reason, um, this person is trying to trying to detach, possibly trying to just keep their emotional distance from you. But there's a, there's there's a little bit of confusion here for them because I feel like they're trying to do that, but they haven't really succeeded at it. Um, it's more of like this. It's more like an illusion. It's more of like, okay, being on the surface. I feel like this person is, yeah, thinking that they're walking away when actually they're not. And it and that's okay. I mean, it could be that they need to at this point in time. They need to have some kind of emotional detachment from this situation as it takes its course, as this develops further. Let's see the Ace of Swords. lovers, the page of cups, and the two of wands. Yeah, so this person definitely still has a lot of feelings for you. This person um, still feels the connection to you. All right, this is very, very clear. Um, I feel like that is basically their truth. That is their truth. Yes, they are trying to take action in terms of moving away from this because of the chaos possibly, or because they just don't know what is going on, um, or because of their own fears. Um, but yeah, see, there's still this energy of waiting. They're still kind of waiting to see how things are going to unfold, even if they are keeping their distance emotionally from this situation or from you or from the connection. So let's see what is coming up here with the Seven of Swords. the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So basically what I feel is going on here is that things are still being a little bit hidden. Things are not really um, out in the open. There's a little bit of shakiness when it comes to this connection, but the love is still there. This is what is being hidden here. Um, it's kind of like lying underneath the surface is this, this love. And this person definitely still has that love for you. I feel like you apparently do too, all right? Because there is a connection here that you really want and I feel like you do want to manifest it. Um, but yeah, this tower needs to fall. This tower needs to fall, regardless. So yeah, that's what's coming up. Things still being a little bit hidden here, but there is action. There is action that is being taken regardless, um, either from you or from them. So let's see judgment for the potential outcome.
Wow, all right. We have Death, the Five of Swords, and the Hierophant. Again, um, really big transformation here. Like, I cannot even stress that enough in this reading. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is that's going on with you, Pisces, um, or for your person, all right? Could go either way. But there's a major transition here that is happening. Something is really coming to an end. Whatever, whatever this um, contract is, whatever that arrangement is, and there was um, a commitment to that contract, that's breaking, that, that's falling, all right? Um, there's an ending. There's an ending to that because whatever that was, whatever this um, commitment was or whatever this contract was, it was deceptive. There may also have been manipulation involved, um, but it was deceptive. It was, um, it's kind of like, it was, it was a lost battle. It, like, it just could not work anymore, whatever that was. That's coming to an end, and that's why there's this opportunity for a rebirth here, a resurrection. It's all a matter of just trusting your intuition because it's there. It's it's speaking to you very very loudly. I feel like you're just afraid of it. You're just not as trusting of it. You're afraid that that trusting that your intuition and um, allowing that tower to fall. You're afraid that that's going to lead to this five of pentacles to a loss. And it's not. It's actually leading to exactly the opposite. All right, Pisces. If this resonated, let's see your final your final message. I did have a card that almost flipped over, and it was um, it was in passe, which talks about reflecting and redirecting your energy. Which another sign also got that one. So if you do want to take that message, yes, you know, redirect your energy, reflect on your intuition, redirect your energy away from that fear of. The rejection or the fear of being at a loss, having lost everything. You're not losing everything by by destroying that tower, all right? Um, the one we got now is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. So yeah, that's easier said than done when you're going through something like this, but I feel like this is a reminder, you know, to always remember that, you know what, we don't have to take everything so heavily. Because you're going through something so major, you know, um, try to remember to at least try to keep everything else as simple as possible in your life. And things might be more simple than what they seem right now. So, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love from me and Vanix. Bye.